Well, can you tell us, was the wall listed in any way? My advice is that it wasn't. When the, uh, the facility closed in 1987, it was left there for security and aesthetic reasons rather than having a, um, a uh, cyclone wire fence that was felt to have that wall there as a feature wall, uh, it would be considered um, a better look, which I think up until 48 hours ago most people would have agreed with. Uh, so I don't believe it was listed, so therefore uh, WorkSafe and even the Building Commission will need to be on site to ascertain what the, uh, what the circumstances are. So if it is not listed, who, who uh, is sort of responsible for the wall in a sense? Uh, well, obviously the, uh, the property owner and the uh, WorkSafe will need to have a look at those issues. The coronial inquest will, will unfortunately have to occur with the very tragic death of those two people. Uh, we obviously wish all our prayers and, uh, and, uh, and uh, best wishes to the person in hospital who is, uh, is obviously, we hope, will recover as quick as possible. And our, uh, our thoughts and prayers certainly to the family, the people who have deceased. But that wall obviously is one that this whole process will now need to be uh, thoroughly re-examined as to uh, uh, its facility, its uh, operation, its presence. And of course, uh, that's what the Building Commission and WorkSafe will need to do. But the wall's gone now totally, isn't it? Yeah, most of it is, and I imagine what's not gone will certainly go by the uh, end of the week. Do you have any idea how old it was? Oh, I understand it's been there for uh, more than 100 years, so it's certainly got a bit of age to it. Um, it's part of the original facility, so it was considered to be a feature, and certainly people who had been up and down Swanson Street uh, recently, you'd remember it, you'd know it, you'd, you'd understand where, where its position was. So it had been there for some time. So um, I can understand the reasoning for the, for the site owner to want to incorporate it into the design. So uh, as I said, it had been there since 1987 with no incident, and that's the, uh, that's the rationale for keeping it. Since when? 1987, since the facility had closed, I understand it had been there in that state. Oh, really? Just, just standing as it was? That's correct. Well, there have probably been several owners in that time then. Yeah, there, there's been uh, certainly one or two, that's for sure, and uh, a number of proposals for the site. So as you can imagine, it's one of those just absolutely tragic incidents that, uh, that you'd never foresee, and, uh, and that's why WorkSafe and indeed a coronal inquest will now need to determine around similar uh, uh, feature walls or uh, others that are being kept around town.